The Ghana Journalist Association, GJA, has revealed that Minister of Fisheries and MP for Ewutu Senior East constituency, Mavis Hawakumsen, has sent two of the alleged persons who assaulted Cape FM journalist David Kobina to the police to aid investigations. Speaking at a press conference in Accra, the GJA president, Albert Jumfo, pledged his outfit will continue to pursue the case to its logical conclusion. The latest development on this case is that Ms. Awakunsin has honored her way by taking two suspects identified to her during the said meeting to the police to assist the police with investigations. We are very much aware that the police has cautioned them and have taken their statement. We are closing, we are following up on the case with the police to ensure prosecution. I have directed the Central Regional, Central Regional Executive to speak to the complainant, that's the victim, Kobina, to write to the police to seek for what the state of investigation report. We will inform the public when this report gets to us. Meanwhile, GJA says the Yendi MP Farouk Mahama has made peace with the association and its partners, hence his blackout has been revoked. After meeting as a coalition to assess the conciliatory gesture of the MP, the plea by the Minister of Information designate and Head Deputy designate, and the positive feedback from the management of City TV City FM, the GJA and its partners have decided to end the media boycott placed on Honorable Faluk Aliu Mahama, MP for Yindi. We therefore respectfully request all media organizations to take note and act accordingly, with effect from today, May 9, 2024. Let me point out that we have the full acceptance of City FM City TV management on this matter. We have their full acceptance and the full cooperation in this regard. The GJE president revealed that the implementation of the media blackout strategy has yielded positive results as attacks on journalists appear to be on the decline. We are glad to say that no attack on journalists has been recorded since we made this observation at our last press conference. Furthermore, there is good news on Ghana's improved press freedom ranking as recently announced. So what we are trying to say is that uh, after recording the first two attacks in January, I think early February, we, there was another one making three. And since we took decision and in our resolve to blacklist, persons and individuals who comes after journalists who attack journalists for no provocation, no reason. We have realized a decline in the attack on journalists and media practitioners. And for me, this is really, this is really good for us. It means that the measures and decisions we have taken is really biting and everyone is really um, should I say, uh, cautioned and being careful about the media. The GG remains hopeful that the media fraternity will continue to enjoy safety, especially in the lead up to this year's general elections. Carlos Caloni for Joy News, Accra.